much of a fight. Where, where's, where's the fun in that? <laughs> Yo, boys, look at this. Marty's an artist. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Do yourself a favor. Just put down the crayons and stop being such a pussy. Just doesn't it bother you that you're just gonna be below me? Like, you're so pathetic. Just quit trying to drop a life that you're just too pathetic to have. Draw with that pussy. Stupid. Thanks. Thank you. Bitch. How could you tell? <laughs> Saw those guys beating on you. You all right? Thanks for your concern, but I'm doing great. So what's the deal with this book? Hey, hey, it's private. If it was really that important to you, you would have been throwing the pages behind you. You're an artist? I was. What made you want to stop? Listen, man, I don't have to explain anything to you. Like you know anything about art anyway. I'm an artist. So you're an artist? Yeah. Look. Martin. What made you want to stop? You know, the usual. You're never going to make it. You should pursue something else. Who told you that? You know, my family, friends, teachers, pretty much everyone. Well, screw them. Let people tell you what to do with your life and you'll never be happy. You see, it's not really my choice. My parents, they expect the son who's gonna pass the family name the right way. The right way? Yes. You mean their way. The right way should be your way. You don't understand. I understand better than anybody. I'm from Virginia and my family is known for their farm. When I told my father that I wanted to draw pictures and become an artist, he told me that I needed to know my place and to stop daydreaming. I'm sorry, I just didn't think anyone was going through what I was going through. My parents, they're so big on money and being an artist, it's not really a saving profession. I never cared about the money, you know? I just want to be happy. But it's too late for that. No, it's not. If you let that get to you, then you'll end up dropping the thing that you'll love for the rest of your life and it'll just eat away at you until the day you die. What if I'm not good enough? These drawings are nothing special. And I have trouble relaying the message in my art. And if I can't do that, what's the point of even trying? The problem is you don't believe in yourself. These drawings are great. They're even better than mine. I mean, look at these. Look, my father tried to get me to quit. And I tried, but it was just stuck in my head all the time. I couldn't get rid of it, it was just eating away at me. I couldn't take it anymore. And it sent me down some dark places. 
what happened. I told my father I never wanted to see him again. I moved up here with my uncle and my father and I haven't spoken in a while. Did the pain ever go away? I thought that if I made people feel what I was feeling, that the pain would go away, but it never did. I was, it just hurt so many people. How did you get yourself out of that? I haven't, and that's why you can't let yourself go down that path. It might be too late. I let my anger control me recently, and I can't come back from that. Not in this world, in this society. That's the problem right there. You can't look at the world like it's some gray, dark shithole. That's all it's ever gonna be. You have to learn to see the color in life. Art is about taking something and putting it on a canvas for the world to see. How do I see this color in life? I used to go to a place that I loved. A place that would help me open my eyes and see the bigger picture. And look for the little things, the good things. How will I know if that works for me? There's only one way to find out. Where's your happy place? My mother's garden. I used to spend a lot of my time there to get away from things. I'll meet you there tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow. Fine, I'll give you my address. Wait, before you do that, there's something I gotta take care of. You got any more of those napkins? Yeah. Have any trouble getting here? Uh, no, it's actually pretty close to home. Black eyes heal pretty fast for you, huh? Ah, just cover up. My mom. And how are your knuckles? They're all right. All right, uh, come this way. So this is your happy place? It was, but uh, everything's all dead. Dead things are the easiest thing to see. What do you mean? You have to look past all of that. Those plants may be dead, but eventually they'll make way for new plants and that'll help expand life. What I mean is, things might look bad and even feel bad, but if you look hard enough, there's always something good to come out of it. That's art and that's life. So it doesn't matter what your parents say or what anybody else says. Sometimes you just have to take what's in front of you and make the best out of it. That's the key to true success and true happiness. Yeah, I guess you're right. So you get it now? I think so. Good, so I'll leave you to it. Wait, wait, where are you going? You just got here. I can't be here for this part. What part? You'll see. What about you? I'll be around. Uh, kind of like that bench by the lake. Maybe I'll see you there. Okay.
pretty baby 